Hey guys, Seb here from Noble Frugal Studio. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys the basics of Tahoma. Now, if you wanna really learn how to use Tahoma, then I recommend you watch this tutorial that I'm gonna link in the card right here. It's a basic tutorial on the animation software OpenTunes. Both Tahoma and OpenTunes are free, but Tahoma is based off of open tunes so they're very very similar and since i already did a very in-depth tutorial on that this series of basic tutorials for tahoma are going to be focused on what's different about it so in this tutorial we're just going to be going over the brush tool which is probably one of the best features about tahoma that's my favorite um, change that was made and yeah so i'm going to go from this start screen all the way to using the brush tool and making some dope animations okay so you have the start screen all you have to do is hit create scene. We're just in sandbox right here. Since we're practicing, we can use the sandbox, but if you wanna create a new project, you can. When you select the new project button, you can name the project and you can select with these little three dots where you're gonna save it, very easy. Anytime you wanna go back to that project, um, say you're switching between them, you just tap these three dots and then go find the project folder that you named, click on it, and then you should be fine. So I just named this thing tutorial and then I'm gonna hit create scene. All right. So in order to create a new column or a layer, we're gonna hover over to this plus note card looking thing. Hit that, and then it's gonna create a smart raster level, which is also called the tunes raster level in open tunes. We're just gonna have that selected. But instead of having the width and height be 1920 by 1080, like our camera size is, I'm gonna set these to 3000 by 3000 so we can draw outside the camera. Hit okay. All right, I'm gonna tap the brush tool. We already have a frame created here on the column that we just made. Now, if, as you can see, if I draw, it'll go outside the canvas. Honestly, I do use the outside of the canvas a lot, so I'm going to actually set the theme for Tahoma to be a bit lighter so I can see more outside the canvas. I'm gonna go to File, Preferences, Interface. I'm gonna set this to Medium. All right, that's much better. So first of all, you have your tool options right up here where you can set the tool parameters just like in OpenTunes. Um, they work the same way. I go over this in the everything you need to know to animate an OpenTunes video. So really nothing new here. But the thing that is new is these drawing assistants. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see there's tool tips and they say shift to draw straight lines, control to draw vertical and horizontal lines, but it actually also draws 45 degree angle lines as well. Control Alt to add and remove a vanishing point and Alt to draw to the vanishing point. So let's start with using shift. If you hold shift, you can make straight lines by clicking and dragging with your mouse or clicking and dragging or tapping on the screen and dragging with your pen. As for control, you hold control, you can do straight lines or if you click and drag the direction, you can switch to a vertical line or a 45 degree angle line. Very, very useful. I actually find myself using this one quite a lot. Okay, Control plus Alt adds a vanishing point and you have to press Alt to draw to that vanishing point. This is really useful and I think this is one of the strongest features of Tahoma because with the, within this brush tool, you can whip up perspective backgrounds in an instant and it's I think that's really, really useful. So we're gonna add a vanishing point by hitting Control Alt. As you can see, it makes this little green dot and if we hold Alt and draw, every line that we draw will be going to that vanishing point. It's really dope. But if you don't have a vanishing point, let's say we, if you hit control alt and then tap the vanishing point, it goes away. Then the default vanishing point is, is the center of this camera. You see that X? Yeah, so you can use that as a default as well. He also added the add color button right here where you can just instantly add a color instead of right clicking and hitting new style, which is great. What's more is that they have completely new icons in Tahoma, um, more themes, which I appreciate. We switched to the medium theme when we were, we were at the dark theme. That's basically it about the brush tool. Now I'm gonna do a short demonstration of how I would use the brush tool for storyboarding. What's cool is you can also hit control. I'm gonna add a little horizon line right here. So this is the horizon. Actually, if we want, we can even add, make, we can even make a grid with the perspective. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna hit alt. And I'm just gonna drag and make lines from this point to make a short perspective grid so I can see the horizon. This doesn't have to be perfect, but 
where we want our character standing, we can just kind of flesh out a quick horizon line. And there we go. Now we have our perspective grid. So I really don't need all that for this drawing. I just wanted to show you how it could be useful. So I want to make a three point perspective city shot. Um, all I gotta do is just put three of those vanishing points and it's really, really easy to do so. I actually really like this, this is, this, this is awesome. But anyway, that's enough for the brush tool guys. Um, those are the added drawing assistants which make using Tahoma super cool. You can get down storyboards and backgrounds and things like that really, really quick which is really why I love this software, why um, I use it. I use this perspective tools to make perspective work in my own projects. Very, very simple. And I'm really appreciative of this tool. Just like OpenTunes, it's completely free. Head down to the description to download this thing. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, before we leave today, I definitely want to mention the winners of the Falling Brick Animation Challenge on my Discord channel. So the winners are I'm so excited because this was this was probably one of the best turnouts for our challenges. The winners this week are, well, this two weeks, is Terrific. I thought his animation just looked really, really crisp, really on point. Great job here. I love the colors. Um, mainly the timing, though. Um, the timing and the particle effects definitely sold me on that. That was really, really creative. Also, that final snap. Um, wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, he really nailed the timing. It looks pretty realistic. It looks believable. It looks interesting. Great job. Great job, Terry Fick. You're, you did you did awesome on that one. Another one I want to mention. Um, I don't know if this is because this person improved a lot or their animation. I just liked it. Is Axolotl Hun QWQ. <laughs> That's their current nickname. But yeah, they did a great job. Um, love the colors in this one. When I saw this, I was I was just really proud of them. Just really, really good job there. Um, keep working and keep doing these challenges so you can improve. Definitely nice shattering effect there. The honorable mention of this week is Syro. Um, yeah, so a lot of these brick challenges were so creative, made, which made it really, really hard to choose. But yeah, this, this one was hilarious. And if you wanna check them out for yourself, join our Discord channel, go to the event chat and just scroll through, see all the challenges that people submit. They're awesome, guys, you're definitely not gonna regret it. This, ch this challenge turnout was awesome. Um, I didn't think that animating bricks could be so fun. I honestly didn't think this challenge was gonna be that fun. But anyway, that's it for the challenges. Congratulations to the winners. Check these guys out on Discord. Chat with them, they're awesome. So that's it for this video, guys. If you wanna check out a dope animation breakdown that I just made for this noble bouncing animation, head over to my Patreon page. You can join for just $1 a month, get a ton of benefits. One of which, if you join the hog tier, which is offered at $3 a month, you can get exclusive tutorials made just for patrons. This noble animation breakdown is one of them, highly recommended. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Special thanks to Owen Art for supporting this channel on Patreon. If you want to see the latest news about my film, Castle Dark, gain access to exclusive tutorials and behind the scenes content, head over to the link below or on the end screen to my Patreon page.